Hello. Ah, I can't believe a medical doctor like Jeronami is using his knowledge to confuse the people and say a lot of nonsense. Now we will I will try to explain why the stuff he is saying is wrong. Okay, uh, now we will talk about the outline. First, uh, I will show a little description about the sickle cell disease. Then I will talk about the heritage pattern. Not only applied to sickle cell disease, but you will see later that it's not uh, the stuff he, he mentioned. I will explain it later. Then I will talk about the sickle cell trait. And finally, we'll, we will talk about the malaria protection. Okay. Okay. In this picture, you can see a, a weird shape of the red blood cells. The normal red blood cells look like a lens, like a, yes, like a lens or like a candy. But the abnormal have a have a long shape. This long shape is caused by a defect in the beta chain of the hemoglobin and normally two alpha chains and two beta chains uh, come together to in order to for a uh, hemoglobin uh, molecules that is responsible to carry oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the organ however in this disease the beta chains cluster together in order to make some kind of strings and these strings uh, give this weird shape to the red blood cells. These red blood cells uh, can clock and obstruct uh, different blood vessels in order in this causes uh, infarction of the downstream tissue. The problem uh, right now, or the consequences that is uh, are pointed by this guy Jeronami are true. The people can with the uh, sickle cell disease uh, can die or have very bad life, a very unpleasant lifespan. We have this kind of problems, uh, campaign strokes and stuff is already mentioned okay let's move to the next topic in this picture taken from the wikipedia you will see uh, a couple this couple uh, last each person is in this couple of everybody else has two genes of everything uh, well with a couple of a section of uh, so sexual stuff that are important but in this case are, are somatic genes are not sexual uh, genes uh, that came from the part they the fathers uh, for the case of uh, sickle cell uh, anemia this this person each person in this couple in the top in this top they have genes of they have a recessive gene this means a, a gene that are not expressed in the presence of a dominant gene that is the normal hemoglobin yes it's true is is located this beta hemoglobin g, uh, gene is located in in chromosome 11 to whatever no but in this case uh, each person carry one sick gene and one normal gene however they don't they will not suffer disease because each one are protected by the normal gene it is described that they can have problems but these problems are very rare like any crosses in the in the femoral head when they go to in a, in a very high place but okay let's see that these people live a, nor a normal life uh, but when they have sex and have children, each, ch each children 
there are three different possibilities that you will see in the bottom. Uh, one possibility, one in a one in four. Uh, we will see, we will have a normal children. These normal children will have no problems. Have no he does he does he, he will not carry the the sickle cell gene. In the right side, you will see a red guy. This red guy carry the sickness. The possibility of this guy appears is one in four. Uh, this guy will suffer the disease and the consequences described by Jeronami. Uh, and also, there is another possibility that is one in two, or two in four is the same, that the the offering will be like the father, like the parents. Uh, they will carry the disease. So they will carry a, a sick gene and also have a healthy gene. This, like the, far, like the, like the parents, they, they will not suffer any kind of disease. If these people live in a malaria-free territory, it's very likely that all the three possibilities, the blue guy and the purple in the middle, have the same possibility to, to, to become adults, but not the red guy. It's probably that he died. However, there are some in some countries like where I come from, Panama, that you can live a couple of years, maybe four years, if you get if you get the disease. I will, I, will, I don't think it happened in India or in rural areas of Panama. Also, does it happen? But in in rural areas of Panama, where we have uh, in the uh, native population, they doesn't carry these genes. Okay. However, if these children live in a malaria territory, uh, it's very likely that the normal, the blue guy and the red guy both die before they become adults. And the purple ones be become adults. Therefore, the gene of malaria will survive and we will be we will coexist with the with the normal gene in a more in a more likely proportion as these people were living in a malaria free territory okay in this map in the left side you see the distribution of high malaria incidence in africa and in the right side you will see the distribution of the of the sickle cell trait uh, you don't have to be an excellent cartographer to understand that the right and the left uh, attribu attributes of this map match and as I explained before the traits give an enormous advantage to the people who live in these territories. Uh, okay, Jeronami, with all this evidence, what are you going to say? Okay, thank you for watching and if you have any doubts about the sickle cell uh, disease, please click in the links that you will see in the description.